So one of the coolest and most important features in Adobe Express is the brand kit. Every time I teach someone who's completely brand new to Adobe Express, I always recommend setting up the brand kit first because it just makes content creation so much easier once you have all of your assets in one place. All right, so this is how you set up your brand kit. So we are on the homepage of Adobe Express. Um, just go to the brand tab on the left-hand side and this page will open up. And if you've never set up a brand kit before, this page will be blank. So all I have to do is just hit create brand. Let's give it a name. Let's call it um, Katrina brand number two and hit create and then give it a second and you'll be taken to this page. And from here, it's super easy to add in your assets. You can add in things like a logo, your color palette, color swatch, font, template, or an asset. And then all I have to do is just pick one of the options. And then from there, just select what you want to upload. And then it will be uploaded just like so. So you pretty much do this over and over again for the different categories um, until it's all full. Like for example, let's go into fonts. You can add fonts from Adobe Express or you can upload your own. In that case, let me just drag this file in. So this is a duplicate font, which means I already have it uploaded into my Adobe Express, but essentially it'll show up like this. You check this box and then you hit add. And then it will add the font not only to your brand kit, but also in your overall Adobe Express. And then for colors, when you want to add colors, um, you can add in a color palette and give it a theme. So we could just call it like brand colors, I guess. And then from there, I can just quickly bring in colors from my brand kit or you can go to custom and select your own um, or put in the hex color code if you know them. Colors are added logo is added. So when you're in the content creation process in the editor, you can save things as a template and save it to the brand kit so that you don't have to create from scratch every single time. And then assets, these are just really anything image wise. And then I have all these different stickers that I can add. Um, so all I would have to do is just select one and then open and then it uploads to the brand kit. And so by the time you're done with your brand kit and you've added all the assets, it should look something like this. So I have all of the different logo variations the different colors as well as the color palette. I have the different fonts uploaded, templates that are already pre-made, and then all of the assets and stickers and stuff are right here and readily available for the next time I make a graphic. So now that you have your brand kit set up, here's how it comes to play in the editor. When you're selecting a piece of text, if you open the drop down menu to change the font, your brand kit will be up here at the top. Make sure it's toggled to the correct one and then you'll be able to see the assets that are in that brand kit up at the top here. So this is what it looks like for fonts. If I select a different brand kit, here are the fonts that I could choose from. For theme, um, there's different like colors and then you can also toggle the brand kit here as well. So if I select this, it changed all the colors to match the brand kit and then I can shuffle through different color combinations. Also, you can access your brand kit under the brands tab as well. You can select the different brand kits to pull different assets or just select the one that you want. And then if you want to pull in assets, just hit view all and then select it and then you'll be able to work with it in your design. It's pretty cool. Then if you want to use any of your templates, just select the template you want to use and then hit start a new file and then it'll create a brand new file with your template. And from there, you can play around with it some more um, and continue creating from your template. So that is how you set up a brand kit in Adobe Express. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram. Just scan this QR code over here. And also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? What are you doing? Subscribe for more tutorials just like this. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!